start a why start with why we have to put why we exist uh, yeah so this is like an attempt to say why and i think in notion there is in the what is why joining us so who we are and what can you do this is like the why um i believe but again this is like a, an open discussion it's not uh something that we will just fire and forget we will need to revise and, and understand if uh, maybe last sentence i think the biggest problem right now and discussed it last time is coherence and signaling if you get into a discord channel or a server with 4,000 people or 1,100 people. This is not a community anymore. It's just it's one big noise. And and yeah. the, the biggest understanding I had from the weekend or the last few days is anyway, we'll have a dedicated teams. Even if we will have 3,000 people, it will be dissolved into small teams that working together and have a sense of smaller identities uh, and not like big chunk of, I don't know what it is, uh, mob trying to understand what's going on and and this is like seems like screaming into a, a room and this kind of discord so yeah so th this is like what i try to bring all together into notion so now it's your yeah, turn. It's, a, it's, a, it's a summary um yeah. like an index of everything yeah sounds good Um, so I think that the question is, it, if you look at it from the hierarchy and the, 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 like the order of what, what is there, do you see anything that we are missing? Uh, let, let's say I'm, uh, for us to continue is at least we, the direction is good. You might have comments or you th this is wrong um, and maybe take the discussion into either the values, what is web, web lab or what is next for us? What are we going to do? Uh, if you can give your, your take on this, either of what you see, it's like the most important for you to do, to bring for today. I think we're heading in the right direction. And since nobody else was talking, I'll jump in. Um, I think the roadmap, obviously, it's still early days. We're still defining, like it says, create a smart contract. But what must the smart contract do? Do we do anything clever? Uh, what value is it? Um, is it not just on a test network or where? I think, I think we do need to create something, but we will figure out exactly what. Um, I think the principles are obviously um, a good place to start to understand. Okay, um, yeah, are, are we heading towards the same idea? Do we do do? do yeah, are there things that we like fundamentally differ on? Uh, I can't think of anything at the moment. Um, it's like uh, okay, we want to be isolationist or a big group or something like that. Um, it's yeah, I think. I think we're on a similar lines, but a lot of it is assumptions. And as we write it down, the principles will have more um, coherence. I hope. I mean, I, I like the principles led by curiosity because that, that, for me, um, this kind of Web3 journey started February, January, February, uh, still this year. And it was just, I was curious, so I kind of did and played and got into, yeah, so brave, okay, I can earn um, stuff there. So it, it's it's been a progression, which I didn't know was Web3. Um, I, I'm, I've been interested in crypto a little bit longer than that, but yeah, it's, I, I like that being led by curiosity, being, playing, it, it's not necessarily having a plan, but having a goal, a vision to understand all of these things if that makes any sense. Yeah. Uh, today I read a really interesting article. It's in Hebrew, although you probably can use Google Translate. It's a guy that um, he is an anthropo anthropologist. 
like anthropologist anthrop anthrop yeah that's right <laughs> and he is uh he's researching uh this whole thing of innovation so he he like really took in innovative companies and visited them and, and learned how they he was curious about people calling innovation like it's jazz and he was a jazz in a jazz uh assembly i think that's how you call it anyway and 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 the thing that he says that like, innovation became like a necessity and it's more like a theater than real innovation and if you have sticky notes in your uh, room it means like you're innovative <laughs> and if it's an open space you're innovative and he, he brings some examples of companies that like did something really wrong uh like uh, the way that they think in innovation needs to take place and uh it's too much noise and there's no room to to have a, a quiet space and to think and it's all like you just need to bring a lot of people into the room and you know sticky notes and the rest will happen like brainstorm mm -hmm. and and i think we're in a similar position because right now i believe it's all about creativity and creativity and innovation it's not the same thing um and it's not not all about being innovative it could be curiosity you're just curious about something and let's see what happens and maybe we'll have some application out of it but we are losing in our culture this playfulness you, you're just doing something for the sake of doing it and not just for achieving something and if you're not achieving it's a failure uh, i think it was an article by paul graham uh, i will share it later and he call it the bus ticket so he's saying to be genius is to pursue something really niche that you can't stop yourself like people that collect bus tickets and he believed this is the source of genius like you go so deep and after years like you achieve something and maybe not uh, i will share it later it's really really interesting it's the one of the co-founders of y combinator um and, and i think what we are trying to do it will be great if we'll have some application, but because there is everything is just beginning, uh, it's a sweet spot between being innovative to be curious, yes. not just pursuing off some kind of application. It's just, let's have fun. Um, j just the idea that somebody made money from kittens, that if you bring them together, will create another kitten. <laughs> A market of trillions of dollars or billions i don't know this is ridiculous uh and i think that's it's not what i'm trying to create but it just shows what's possible even if it's not healthy uh it's it's a really vast space to bring creativity not just innovation um so that, that's why I think I, I, because most of the workspaces, it's not about curiosity. You just need to work, do your work. There is KPI and whatever. And here it's like, you can explore whatever you want and just share it because this, that's all about sharing. It's not about like, I'm exploring, it's my own lab. Um, so I think that's it for me, learning by doing, having fun, led by curiosity, sharing our journey, micro steps. This is, this is what doesn't exist in most workspace. And, and I think that's for me, it's a healthy place to be. I wish there were more, more places like that. I mean, I, the, the, ones, the next step that you mentioned, the, the bias for integration, the Web3 and people's lives. And I think that's also important. I mean, it's a criticism about quantum physics and science these days is that all the stuff that they've done, I don't know, in 50 years is actually, um, there's no change in people's lives. Yes, they've had string theory, they've had all of these theories, but they haven't changed people's lives. So I think you, you do have to figure out, does this integrate? Um, obviously quantum physics is not web three, uh, it's a whole different scientific ball game, but I, I think it's important to understand what impact they have uh, on people's lives. And people these days are more interested in like uh, sustainability and uh, that. I mean, that's one of the biggest criticisms is, uh, of Web3 blockchain is, I don't know, the energy consumption, the gas prices and that. But it's also, yeah, understanding how that impacts it. I mean, the gas, charging gas is suddenly you're actually aware that every transaction has an impact. When we do a search, 
we don't actually realize that that google has these um huge uh, ser servers that are running but now if I'm, i had to run a smart contract and i realized wait it's actually costing me money to do this i see an impact uh, yeah google pays for my search by stealing my uh, search history uh, not stealing using it should we say uh, and that, uh, that theoretically not to do any evil but they've changed all of that so uh, maybe they couldn't define what evil was uh, anymore but yeah I, th I think it's it's integrating it into people's lives seeing what impact what people are interested in but not, also not um not def not limiting it to what uh, people maybe uh, we need to be like henry ford kind of not um what did he say something about if you ask people what color they wanted uh they would have had something i can't remember the exact saying right now uh, yeah if, if you ask people what kind of uh, uh, i think it's horse yeah oh Off. yes yeah. yeah something like that it, it didn't say a car it's a faster horse <laughs> yes yeah yeah but they're limited by, by their uh, imagination that's uh yeah yes um yeah, and uh, it's obviously as we grow, more people have more input, and as we learn more, uh, we have more things to say. Um, mm -hmm. I know Emir is getting into all of these things, and that's so uh, soon we won't be able to stop him talking about it at all. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I have like regarding Notion. <clears throat> from a content point of view we have the starting points what we, we need to to have in place and to start talk about that i think that the challenge that i'm facing um is that i, I cannot handle notion it's 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 kind of broken from my workflow um maybe it's only me and i need some time to understand how to work with that but i can't kind of get the rhythm uh how you open it you see like come how you tap into that edit see versions it's kind of something is missing there it's very nice to have that as a site because right that that's kind of solves um, uh, a problem in a very elegant way and a cheap way but on the other hand i can't understand how you integrate that into the workflow so when I'm thinking workflow, uh, maybe I'm a too technical person, but I'm thinking like Git workflow. Someone creates um, a page and then other people want to review that, maybe want to add comments, want to add more content, and then it kind of evolves like code base. But Notion is maybe I'm missing a feature there, but it's not like that. You just write something. I cannot see only changes. Um, I'm not even sure how to track what was added since the last time I open it, uh, blah, 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 blah. So I'm kind of having some uh, challenges with that. Uh, and I understand the, the, um, uh, the need to document, um, but I can't understand how to use Notion to do that. Um, and I kind of... I want an easier solution. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't have one, but I just want. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I think from an editing point, it's very similar to Confluence that you can edit and add pages and that it's very, the structure grows as you edit it. Um, but I agree with some of your kind of things that if you want to track what's happening, maybe it's not as easy. Maybe then we yeah, have to work with Notion. Yeah, it's like Sharon said, they updated things and I'm getting inside Notion and I'm like, how do I know what was changed? Like I read some of the things. Yeah. Uh, so if you have a user, I can tag you because you don't have a user, I can tag you and then user costs money. Um, that That's the problem. So I can say, oh, I added, uh, that's a good question. I think the old versioning I'm not sure, maybe I need to learn and we need to look at it. And I've seen sites that are built based on um, Git. And then you yeah. have, right? Uh, but that's, yeah. it's very, it's more technical. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a good, can, <laughs> yeah. Can we create a smart contract around uh, like a wiki uh, idea? I mean, it, theoretically it's possible, just obviously, 
it costs gas if you're not on, but you can do it on a, one of the test networks. There's no need, need for it to be on a live network. Mm. Um, and th th then you should be able to see revisions. Everything should be documented. Every change uh, gets put yeah. on. Interesting. I'm I sure this. Yeah, no, I'm sure there is something out there. Uh, I was just checking if Notion actually. You know, it, it amazes me that every time I start something, a thread, whatever, Sapia, whatever discussion we had in the past years, we always reach to a point where, where we talk about how do we collaborate. Uh, and I see a huge gap between our needs as human beings to the technologies that are being offered to us, things like Confluence and, and Notion. Uh, which are ah, maybe maybe this is what we need to focus on. How can we create a tool that people like us can work together? I mean, it's it's kind of I don't think it's easy to solve, right? But uh, it's a huge problem. I mean, especially like if you're moving into the DAO space where you're supposed to be anonymous. I mean, we have some understanding of who we are, our personalities. Uh, how do you co uh, collaborate when you're supposed to be anonymous? Um, so somebody says something and you don't know their context. Um, was it a joke? Was it serious? I mean, then you end up with Twitter, basically, where somebody makes a comment and three things down, they have to explain, no, this was a joke. Um, <laughs> I, you know, the more I think about it, yeah, it's community is about trust. If I don't know you and I cannot, at night, today I open a wallet, Jiminy, right? Yeah, That's Gemini, really? yeah. Gemini. So you need to upload your uh, um, driver license. Like they need to verify you are real. And I totally understand. Yes. Like this is this is like money, <laughs> and it's connected to my bank. So they are verifying this is you're not laundering money. You know there is rule regulation. KYC. Okay, yeah. So no uh, customer. If if you are in a DAO and and there are I know, Let's say I don't know half of the people. How how can you manage collaboration? Like I don't know if what you are saying is true or what is your incentives. Maybe you're trying to you just a terrorist, right? There are people that just want to break stuff. <laughs> it's their fun. They're making money out of it. I don't know. So I think I don't see a world that you don't have an identity. Like maybe if you're moving money, maybe. But if you wanna create something with another person. I need to talk to you, man. Like, you know, it's super interesting what you're saying because I agree with that. But on the other hand, one of the basic rules or not rules or requirements of um, coins today and this technology is to enable you to be anonymized if, if you want to, only yeah. if you want to. If you don't want to, you can expose yourself. But I, by default, uh, you, you are not reachable. And I wonder, you know, I, I said that multiple times. I think that our chase to privacy as humanity is wrong. Like we need privacy, but that's not like the golden whatever. It's like just privacy, man. So people want to know or know what you're doing. I don't think it's that important as, as we as society see that, but like part of the idea of now, today's Ethereum, for example, is to enable you to be anonymized. And you are saying, wait, but if I'm anonymized, I cannot integrate or trust another person. Yeah. Um, in certain but, inter yeah. interactions, identity is needed and social proof is needed. Otherwise, I, I can't, like, we are humans. Trust is only enabled in a physical way, by the way. It cannot happen in a digital environment, like real trust, because you need to smell each other. This is how it works, like evolution. So if you really want to create something meaningful and, and big enough outside the scope of 10 people, First, you need a physical, I don't know, like Jupiter, you know, once a year you meet each other, right? There are profiles of people, you know, who, who is the developer, uh, at least the core team. It's not like totally, who is this? Also Wikipedia, you, you, I, I guess, I don't know, they have their own thing inside because I need to understand what you're writing right now. Is it true? This is the, the fake news. Is it true? What are you saying? You know, your claims. Your, who you are, what can, what are you capable, your incentives. And if I don't know you, it's going to be hard for me to work with you. Um, and I don't, there is, the, I don't know who mentioned it. There is, 
who shared uh, somebody shared with me that there is like create uh, they want to create an nft of your identity your work where you work with whom and what people tell about you and it's like your id there is a there is a project right now being built and so i think that this is wrong i can understand transactions like you know amazon i don't know i don't need to know you amazon is taking care of it like this the trust you know that they are centralizing trust otherwise people start fuck each other <laughs> so th this is a problem um I, and and so dao will require trust and the more you're inside the more trust is needed Th that's I, I don't see otherwise and I'm, I'm i'm open to be wrong but this is human beings but but that also may be a cultural thing um that you and i have a certain way of viewing the world that we see ourselves as individuals we don't trust the collective as much as we do as a maybe a, an Asian person or Eastern European yeah. way, they have more of a collective sense. I don't know. I, I'm yeah, you're right. speculating. It's also, um, also context-based. What is trust? Yeah. In different places will mean different things. Um, I mean, often t trust is assured, uh, what assured mutual um, destruction. So that if we both, we, if we know if things blow up, we all die. Uh, we all have the same, uh, punishment uh, consequences then you, you can trust each other but um, that's not always a positive thing yeah it's a very like a negative trust stick in the carrot um yeah. i think it's it's dependency if we are dependent and we understand it and there is a context a local context then trust is is uh, is a must but if there, there are brokers like a government or amazon so I don't need to to ask those questions, right? And then I think if I take what Amir said about privacy, the problem is that I think certain organization or people accumulate too much power. And then their judgment is not the, the it's hard for you to really understand as a human being what is um, best for the collective. It's really hard to make those decisions. You know, should I kill him or you know, who is the terrorist? Who is who is the b bad guy? What is evil mean? What 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 is evil? <laughs> so I think that's the problem. Like the, the because we are living in a complex reality that's keep changing and dynamic and everything is connected. It's hard to make a, an an any ass assertion. You think you are right and somebody is wrong because you have a different perspective. And that's why we need. To have a collective view of like coherence it's not like a one person and i, I think that's what what web3 the problem like somebody said this is true you know if you're doing something in, in instagram and i don't like you i close your account that's it and then your business yeah. is down <laughs> sorry uh, I mean, what's interesting like you, you're talking and you're talking about all these things and perspectives and that and i mean dao is supposed to be based on democracy so that the, the collective does what everybody votes, but you can't see the vote and all of that. Now, um, Mohammed uh, Gaddafi had his green book and that, where he talks about uh, democracy. And he's obviously was never a proponent of it, but he makes a good point. In, in democracy, the people will be miserable. Um, and we've seen that in the past with groups where you have collectives, whether it's religious or uh, things, you have 48% that get upset and then they go form their own collective. So it, it splits. Um, and then they, they start arguing about uh, big Indians and little Indians. Uh, that, that's a Gulliver travel uh, kind of, which way do you eat the egg first? Um, so stuff that doesn't matter, but they're, they're the same. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, if you look at the Christianity religion from outside, it all looks the same. And then there's so many different factions when you actually get into it. Uh, it's, will it always split up? Um, I think, yeah, it, it's, it's an interesting space. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Human nature versus technology and democracy. And nature in general. Because nature, if you look at nature, it's all about small communities collaborating and exchanging. And sometimes you, you are the food, sometimes you're eating. But there is a, some kind of a balance and imbalance and in the end, you don't have a consensus, really. <laughs> it's yes. not like everybody agrees on some certain values and direction. 
it's like a force of intelligence. I don't know how to call it. Uh, and I think the problem it's, with religion, there is one truth. And if you don't believe us, we're going to kill you. That, that's it. Yeah. And that's the problem. And if we go into Dao, it's not about one big collective, one government. It's about small organization. It's like mushrooms connecting to each other. And everybody has his own idea of reality and, and breaking down. Not like organization of, I don't know, server with 3,000 people. How, how do you collaborate? I don't understand. And then, you know, there is the Dunbar number, 150, you lose. Um, yeah. So I think that's also something we need to, to understand and learn. We will create a DAO and what does it mean and where, what is the limits? There is limits to how, how far you can go with collaboration. I mean, the same thing got shown over the, this COVID period with um, Zoom. That you had Zoom with all of these things, and what does what well, the first feature that added was breakout rooms to create smaller groups because um, it was too big. Uh, they wanted people to interact, so yeah. not what. Um, so they realized, yeah, okay, we need to do all of this. Um, um, it's, it's totally agree. Um... By the way, I think that maybe the uh, this conversation should be an artifact, and maybe we should split it from uh, a catch up. And discussions because mm. that, that can be an actual podcast episode or whatever. Yeah, I agree. Um, maybe if we structure it a bit, you know, like let's talk about a certain topic for 10 minutes and then another topic for another 10 minutes, we can actually then generate mm. content out of it. But um, I, I, I agree. I mean, I also think that podcast, like we were talking about wallets, and I was trying to explain to you in wallet, but the easiest way for me to st start writing, hey, if I use somebody else's thing, but is that conversation? What questions would you ask me? But then I'm trying to imagine it. So there's my questions, and I know <laughs> some of the stuff. So that a, a podcast is a really good way of uh, getting somebody who has questions or getting somebody who can answer the questions. Um, and that balance mm -hmm. and so we can either be asking the mm -hmm. questions or answering them depending on who you have there um yeah and yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Uh, even this is like we, we're kind of creating more questions which we need to ask uh, answer in the future yeah but again if you take this hour um part of it it's exactly what i said i have like uh, we'll have 50 minutes and there was like maybe two minutes it's really really interesting or and multiply by five and then you can take it out create a 30 second 40 second something put it somewhere and then you have you, you can you know amir talked about notion okay this is an interesting conversation for itself yeah. like one hour yeah, two yeah, hours yeah, topic. and then you take it put it in the, in the in the right place and let's discuss it and have another bigger conversation so what's really important I think that the priority it, it's the question. I think notion is very important. Privacy is very important, right? How do you make decisions? How do you disagree? I think this is like big topics. And then you can break it into small discussion, like three, four people, and you come with a, some kind of a conclusion and bring it to the collective. I don't know, like we need to invent those kind of stuff, mm. right? And, and I think maybe we can choose notion as a beginning, like notion doesn't whatever, and that doesn't work for us because that's what we need. Okay, what else? Like, why? Uh, this is big because it's all about communication. <laughs> and if Notion doesn't help us to communicate, we have a problem. We have a big problem, right? Um, and I guess a lot of people feel the same if you're a little bit intelligent and trying to create something. So I agree so with Amir. We can tackle... Uh... Catch up is just to, you know, how are you? I think it's not, maybe we shouldn't record it, but uh, for the sake of the whole, uh, the audience, but the, the conversation itself, we need to tackle something that is like core to our business, yeah. let's call it. Yeah, it's, you want to pull out the, the sound bites that are interesting from the, the yeah. discussion. Yeah. So that, that's the content, like this is raw and then it will create, become more, uh, coherent and then simple and bits like what I said micro steps and yeah and you can create a new technology based on we can handle notion <laughs> this is wrong 
Yeah, because it's... you just understand, that if somebody wants to follow our steps and create his own thing, he will encounter in the same problems, right? And he will feel the same, like, what do I do in a Discord server with 3,000 people? Sorry, and then tomorrow it's going to be 5,000, right? And then 10,000, and then what? It's like, this is going to collapse. <laughs> what do you do there, <laughs> really? Yeah. And uh, you learn those problems and try to solve them by doing it. Um, yeah. Not settling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you when you see a problem, discuss it, raise it, and figure out the solution. Not just complain about things. I think that yeah, also, yeah. also that, happens. Think that that's really you, you. have ownership on this environment. You can change it. You have the authority, right? And if if people agree with you and you, you your thought process is fully understood and articulated, yeah, why not? Like, let's test it. And you know what? Go ahead and maybe. Two months from now, we will say you were right because I didn't see your. And there is value because you're really trying to solve something that doesn't exist. And it's out of your curiosity. It's not like somebody told you to do it. Um, and, and I think, you know, if you take this, we have one more minute left. So just if we take this discussion. This is the orientation. We are about collabor collaboration, to solve problems, to integrate, to think together. How do we vote? How do we disagree? And this will filter a lot of people. For a lot of people, it will be boring or too technical or whatever. So this is also a mechanism to build our community. Like, what do we want to focus on? What's the problems that we see? But I think I find that with a lot of podcasts, I, I listen to certain episodes because I like those people that are yeah. on it, but I'm not going to listen to 100% of them. Um, yeah, it's okay. you've got to choose. True. Sure. And then if we, if we can get everybody interested in every podcast, then it's great. Um, but the, you, you, what you, you can't please all the people all of the time. Yeah. Um, you can please some of the people some of the time. Sure. It also means in a way that um we really need to be focused on the topic in each episode you cannot mm. talk about 10 10 topics because Agreed. then as a user or, or as a consumer how can you consume it it's like not consumable uh you want to talk you want to read only about trust only about notion only about nfts whatever yeah i do the same i only listen to certain things not everything so i think that's that's really important the, the signal, coherence, focus, whatever you call it, is we pick up also for podcast. Let's whatever we'll do, uh, it's going to be micro and, and very focused and we will stop there. And that's enough. But I think this kind of meeting is more like general. And then maybe we'll say this is not what we need. Let's choose one topic because we're just starting. This is uh, and the next topic will be Notion. And Amir will become pre be, I don't know, will bring something or Sharon or whatever, right? That's like uh, you think about it, and then you have. It's also helping us to move forward, guys. This is the next thing we need to tackle. Who is interested? You know, you, you don't have to join the calls, by the way. It's like, no. That's what's great about it. It's not like a company, right? There is a meeting about marketing uh, Q1. Oh, you need to be there. No, you don't. You don't need to be. If it's not your thing, don't don't be there. That's fine, but it's our, I think, uh, responsibility at least to summarize something or to write, to document the journey. Maybe the last thing that I just want to mention, because we, we are not going to open it, I think that another very interesting topic um, is the kind of opposition to the Web3 uh, uh, led by Jack uh, Dorsey from Twitter. And this is also something that I'm kind of trying to understand why he is against it. Uh, and I think that what 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 I understood up until now that uh, Web three is a marketing term that kind of uh, aggregates a lot of technologies inside of that term. And uh, VCs like uh, A sixteen Z and all of those big uh, big VCs are kind of using that um, to basically take over the world. Uh, and they're going to invest in, in companies that are going to be kind of the next big thing. Uh, and he, he's against it because he thinks that it shouldn't be in, in, their, in their hands. It should be on our hands as, as, as whatever we are. Um, 
Yeah, I don't have much to say, but I think it's very interesting because you see like two two very very um, different perspective on on how things should look in the future, and it's very interesting to see a person like Jack, which should be on one hand uh, like uh, against us because he's one of those rich people, but uh, he he thinks completely different. Um, yeah, and I think it's, it's it's interesting to dive into that. I think it's a good point. I mean, it's it's like a lot of scientific research is biased by the people who are sponsoring the uh, scientific research. <laughs> exactly. so if if all the investors want to make take exactly. as much money from people as possible, then are people getting all the benefits of the technology? Um, no. Yeah. I have to yeah. say something. Uh, somebody posted on LinkedIn something similar. He said, "Web three is going to solve the micromanagement problem." And it's the same thing to say Web3 is going to solve the, 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 the centralization problem. I think people are creative. They will find a way to do whatever they want. Uh, to cent and in the end, that's also what Tim, Tim O'Reilly is saying. They will find a way to centralize again. Like every time you bundle, it's become unbundled and then again bundled. This is the cycle of life. Like I don't want to die. And instead of like fighting who is right or wrong, because I really don't know. Uh, it's like uh, um, Elon Musk is asking, where is Web3? I can find it. Um, is to, there is an opportunity and to bring the right intentions. Because you can say everything is wrong and everything is right because it's your point of view. He, he is a terrorist, but he is a freedom fighter. You know, so, who is right? History will yeah. judge. But also history is being, being uh, pulled off by the people with the money. So... I think it's all storytelling, almost. All, you know, there are certain, there, there are boundaries. But uh, I'm curious about the possibilities. How can we contribute and, and integrate to people's life? And what can really bring value? Uh, but, but it's not perfect. It's not about being perfect. Like you said about the gas and there is impact for everything. You're eating, you're shitting, you're doing stuff that impacting another creature and the universe. So it's like, if you don't want to have any impact, just kill yourself. And that's it. Yeah. That's fine. And, and it's not about doing right or wrong. It's about exploring and have the right intention to connect, to collaborate, to find solution, to be humble and, and, and not choosing. There will always be people who want to take over the world. I don't know if they're really thinking about it, by the way. It's like too simple simple to say i'm gonna somebody's literally wake up in the morning and say i'm gonna take over the world they have their own storytelling which is really complex yeah so i think it's just drawing attention that's it it's not really just to simplify the conversation they're trying to control the world okay come on really okay this is like cons conspiracy theory you know this is too simple um anyway i think it's interesting and and the reason we are here is to really find a thread that we are interesting in and not trying to fight and say it's not going to happen or it's going to destroy the world and uh, I don't know. We'll see. But it's also good to have those voices, the more pessimistic yeah. uh, voices in the collective. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. But it's we're making a good start. Yeah. Um, okay, I think. We're done. I'm going to stop the recording. Let's see how it works.